Good morning. From Te Anau. We are headed about 120 kilometers up the road to Milford Sound so we can go on a cruise of the area. Let's go. We've just arrived at Milford Sound and apparently it's $10 an hour to park if you arrive before 3 p.m. So definitely bear that in mind if you're planning on visiting here. So much to my aunt Alexa for enabling us to go on that cruise of Milford Sound which fun fact is actually not a sound it is a fjord but regardless of what it is the scenery was just breathtaking we were surrounded by these mountains on either side and they are humongous apparently some of them are as tall as like 1500 meters which if I'm doing my math correctly, I think that's like just under 5,000 feet. And there's this huge concentration of waterfalls as you cruise down the fjord because it's a lot of glacial water, which is how the fjord was formed in the first place. Not only that though, but because of that glacial activity, it actually creates a certain level of fresh water as you go towards the sea. So that actually means that it's easier for marine life to come in and use it as a breeding ground and a feeding ground. So as a result, not only were we able to see gorgeous fur seals today, but apparently at certain points during the year, then you also get to see whales and penguins. I can completely understand why this place is so celebrated and so popular, because in terms of the views and what you get to enjoy, it's unparalleled. It's unlike pretty much most places that you get to see in the entire world. And I'm so grateful that we were able to do this. So thank you again, Alexa, for this.
at Mirror Lakes was worth the pit stop. And since it's only a five minute return, I figured why not? Also, loving your socks and sandals look. Are you embarrassed to be seen with me? No. Someone has to, I suppose. You could say this was an unexpected turn. Now that we're back at the Airbnb, it's time to do something I haven't done in months. That is so much better. Good morning. It has been raining all morning, but it's looking like it's clearing up. So we've decided it's now a good time to get out and explore by doing some hikes around Lake Teano. Let's go. We're having to interrupt our walk because it is pouring outside. So we are trying to get to the nearest cafe ASAP, but we're already looking like drowned rats. It's only been raining for about 10 minutes and my trousers are completely soaked through and it's really cold and then on top of that my shoes are wet and so are my socks so great time so far. As you can see behind us, it looks like the skies are beginning to clear, so we're gonna give this another try. into the car just in time for it to rain again. One of the other things that we've heard about to do around here is this. Apparently this bird sanctuary is not only home to a number of rare species in New Zealand but also we've heard it's free so let's go. The purpose of this sanctuary like with most wildlife sanctuaries is to help protect and grow the numbers of endangered species. In the case of New Zealand, they didn't actually have any land-based mammals until humans brought them here about 900 years ago. As a result, the things that need protecting in New Zealand that are endemic are mostly birds. 
One of these birds is called a takahe, and we didn't actually know about this bird until we flew Air New Zealand, and they were part of their very, very cute in-flight safety video. It turns out that the takahe was around in prehistoric times. However, due to human activity, then they were hunted until what was believed to be extinction. However, it was due to an expedition that took place in 1948 around this area where they discovered that Takahe were actually still alive and well, but they were just in very, very small numbers. Thanks to breeding programs and sanctuaries like this though, then their numbers are now back up to about 500 strong and still growing. And for anybody wondering, this is a Takahe. Wilson Recreation Reserve is maybe a minute down the road from Tayanau Bird Sanctuary. I always struggle with the word Tayanau. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Anyway, the whole point of coming here is that we wanted to do this loop here around Lake Henry. I don't think it's that long. Here it's saying 1.8 kilometers on a blog that I read. It says 1.4 kilometers. So let's go for another nice walk. the track it's been quite nice it's not like other hikes where it's all clearly marked on a trail some of it you're just walking over grass parkland but then other parts of it are on a very clearly delineated path through the forest still it's given us views like the one just behind us so can't be a bad thing and what a way to end our time in Tayanau. i mean yes there's no mountains in the background here but you're just surrounded by beautiful scenery. Absolutely. And that brings our time in this part of the country to a close. Sadly, because this is just gorgeous and we could probably stay here forever. But what this does mean though is that our next video is going to be from our next spot here in New Zealand. And we are super excited to bring you that. But until next time, take care. And keep smiling.